This video is not sponsored by VLC. Few days ago I saw the CG Meta tutorial on procedural modeling with notes. By the way, you should see it, it is great. I'm also a big fan of this guy who uses non-destructive workflow. So I highly recommend that you follow them if you want to learn something useful. In this video I'll show you something that's not so useful. CG Matter created Cone from Plane. So there is one very logical question. It is possible to create fully editable model only with one vertex? Per object, sorry. I am not a magician. Well, maybe that's not the first question you came up with. The answer is yes, but you know how to do fully editable model because you saw the CG Meta tutorial. I am going to do that with modifiers. You may want to edit your model later, so you can use this technique to change everything without redoing the model. How can you do that? Let's take a look. We must first enable few add-ons, they will help us a lot. Node Wrangler add-on makes it easier to work with materials and nodes. Add Mesh Extra Objects to add a single vertex in the scene and a Bool tool for easy Boolean setup. Press Shift A and add a new mesh. There is a new section called Single Vert and from the menu choose Add Single Vert. We are in the edit mode now, because usually if you add a single vert you probably want to model with it. That's not my case, leave the edit mode. Let's add some modifiers. First, we want to extrude our vertex and control the size of the bottom rectangle of the code. I use a screw modifier for this. Set the axis to X, the angle to 0 and change the number of segments in the viewport and render to 1. We can now control the extrusion using the screw value. Enable merge vertices and for now uncheck the shade smooth to see the object how it really is. Add another screw modifier. Do the same but for Y axis. Now add a mirror modifier and check the X and Y axes and enable clipping. Check the wireframe option so we can actually see the wireframe of our object. It's made by 9 vertices. To reduce poly count, use decimate modifier and set it to planar. Add bevel modifier and set it to only vertices. And last, do you want to solidify it? I have used a value of 15 cm. Spoiler, it's not in the right scale. We can now modify any value and the modifiers will respond. Now let's make the top of the cone, hide the bottom part, add a new vertex, again add a screw modifier, that will be our radius, angle 0, one step, disable smooth shading and check merge. Now we can control the radius with a screw value. Add another screw modifier, that will be the resolution of our cone. Even now I will disable smooth shading, I'll turn them all on later. You can control the resolution with the number of steps. Be sure to check merge vertices and set the value you want to use as the rendering steps. Now we need to move the disk up slightly. I could do it manually, but I will use the displacement modifier. Set the direction to Z and mid left to 0. With strength value we can set our offset. We will need it because we will use the boolean operator to merge these two parts together. Two intersecting faces would cause an issue. Now add solidify. The thickness controls the height of the cone. And finally, we can add the simple deform, axis to Z and set type to typer. With a factor value, we can control the constriction of the cone. Last step is just selecting the top part. Hold down the shift key and click on the bottom part. With the bool tool add-on, we can now just click Ctrl plus and bool tool will do the rest for us. On top of that, you can put the bevel modifier and set it to angle. When you are happy with the resolution and topology, we can now check shade smooth on each screw modifier. I found some issues on my model, so I turned the decimate modifier off. Now spend a few weeks on creating a procedural cone shader and you are done. Fully editable cone. Ok, if you are a perfectionist, you can say that there is no hole on top of it. If you want, you can use the same technique that I used to create the top of the cone, set the resolution to the same number as the cone to keep a nice topology and use the boolean operation. I also recommend parent all things together. If you are still not happy because the cone is not empty, you probably have weird obsession with cones. Just leave it how it is. No, no one will notice. In the description below is link where you can download this editable model and also one prepared to be used in Cycles and Eevee. 
It's not editable, but I hope it serves its purpose. Now you can use cones everywhere.